my name is Linda Anderson. I'm an artist, and one of the things I like to do is draw in my garden. Being outside makes me feel calm and peaceful. If you'd like to see some of my art, you can go to my blog spot at yarden at bigcottage.blogspot.com. Go look at some of my drawings. I try to draw every day. This tree drawing tutorial is brought to you by Tree Folks. Tree Folks is a Central Texas nonprofit dedicated to strengthening community bonds through the planting and care of trees. They have been active in urban forestry for over 30 years. Tree Folks host artist tree workshops online to help combat the isolation of social distancing and introduce folks to art and trees. Trees in nature have always brought us comfort in hard times, so we would like to share them with everyone through the wonders of art. Together, we can bring the peaceful, calming sensations of nature into our homes. Here we are outside facing uh, my sketch pad and the peach tree in my yard. Um, we're gonna be uh, following four steps to draw this tree. The first will be uh, je the gesture, finding the gesture of the tree, that's the movement. The, uh, number two is contour, the contour of the tree, that's the outside lines, the outside of the trunk and the branches. And we'll be talking about the Y pattern during that part. Uh, number three, we'll be doing some shading, and last we'll do some texture. Okay, let's begin. When we're looking at the, the gesture of a tree, we're looking at it as if it were a dancing uh, person, but it's a tree. So I'm gonna start with the trunk and it's sort of how is the tree moving? Just picking out some branches. This one has a lot of gesture, that one. It's wavy. If I don't get it just right, I'm not gonna worry because this Y pattern that the tree follows kind of takes care of it. Um, so I have the gesture of the tree if I was doing um, a different kind of a tree, the gesture might be, you know, more wavy, like that. Curvy lines, we talked about curvy lines, they follow the gesture, they show gesture or movement much more than straight lines do. The bottom part of the tree is just a little bit curvy, so we'll start out with the trunk. Now I've started out drawing very lightly, and as I go on, I'll draw darker and darker. So here's the trunk and the trunk is wider at the bottom and as it goes up it gets thinner. So I'm going to make sure I do that. This branch, the trunk kind of continues up here and then there's a Y going out, and a Y going out here, and a Y going out there. So here's, here's the trunk. If I make a mistake, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. The trunk kinda ends up going up here. You can see I'm drawing very loosely. So I've got the trunk uh, done. Um, I'm gonna go here. Here's uh, a next branch. You'll notice as we go up, the tree branches and trunk get thinner. The branches even thinner. And right now I'm drawing the contour lines or the outside lines. Here's a big Y. All trees go in a Y pattern, as far as I can tell. It's like a, there's the big Y 
at the bottom. And of course every tree is different, even though they might be the same species or it might be the same kind of tree, like two peach trees together will not be exactly the same. Everyone is different. Here's a big branch going up this way. And this one keeps on going off the page. Here's another Y. And then this one, you can draw a little notch right there. It kind of shows the branch coming off. This one is really nice and curvy. I, I really like to draw the curvy lines. So this, I'm going to make this one a little thicker here. Kind of establish the outside of the tree. There's that bump there. This side is a little fatter, and this branch is a little thinner. So you can see they get thinner as they go up. Until a lot of, at the end, they're just little twigs. but still in the Y pattern. There's a little Y, a little y coming up here. Another one over here. My tree kind of goes off the page, which is fine. Uh, this one here has some big wise, even though the middle one keeps going up, it has So we can say that I've got the contour lines done. One thing you might want to notice are the negative shapes between the branches. This is the negative shape right here. So this is a negative shape. This is a negative shape. This is a negative shape. Negative shapes are what's in between what you're drawing. And they're just as important as the other parts of your drawing because there's gonna be things in there. my angle lines, got an angle, angle line there, angle line there, angle line there. So even though um, there's lots of curved lines and straight lines, there's a lot of angle lines and circle shapes. Well, this is kind of, if I guess if it has an angle, it's kind of squarish. Um, but once you get your outline done or your contour done of your trunk and your branches, you can start drawing your leaves. Now you don't want to draw every single leaf because that would be impossible. So you look at your leaves as if they were clumps. And if you squint your eyes out of focus, you can see the clumps a little better. And you draw the leaves as big shapes. So there's one clump right here I'm just drawing an oval shape, a circle in the circle family. This tree hasn't fully leafed out yet, so. But you see I'm just making uh, big clumpy shapes.
So I have these big shapes. Um, so I can say I have my contour part of my drawing done. I can always go back and redefine those contours, but I can go on and do shading now. Um, once we have our branches and our trunk and our leaves, we can decide uh, about our shading. Um, the first thing you have to do is to decide what side, uh, where your light's coming from. So what side of your tree is going to be dark and what side of your tree is going to be light. And it looks like even though the sun is, th is this way, up in the sky, I see the light is on this side and the shadow is on this side. So you use your pencil and you use the side of your pencil to shade, not the point. And I'm just gonna start shading. Crayons are really good for shading too, because you can use the side of your crayon and it goes fast. Sometimes, if there's a lot of leaves on the tree, the branches are all shady. I get confused I just look at the tree and it helps me to decide which side is light and which side is dark. You also want to shade your leaf clumps. Uh, they're also going to be shady on one side and light on the other. So following suit, this side will be light and this side will be dark. So the underneath of this side underneath and this side you can also put make it more clumpy You can go back with the point and define your lines more. Sometimes your shading kind of obliterates your contour lines. Always go back to your tree and look at it, be inspired by it.
just keep, you can go back and forth between your contour lines and your shading. You can look at the bottom and say, uh, what, what's my trunk coming out of? Some trunks have some roots that you can see. Others, uh, you see a lot of herbs and things. So you can just draw. I have a lot of herbs in my grass or weed, you could call them. And then some grass too. You can just make a suggestion of things. Um, when you get to a certain point, I could go on and shade, work on the shading and the contour for a long time. Um, the, but we'll go on to the last step, which is texture. Um, even though you don't want to draw every single leaf, you can draw a couple leaves on each clump, or several leaves on each clump, and you can notice what shape your leaf is. This is a peach tree, and so the leaves are kind of sharp at the end. They have a point. Um, if I was drawing an oak tree, it would be more round. So just on s some of these, I might just draw a couple, not a lot. You can even make like a zigzag pattern that would suggest several leaves. Or even just some lines. So you can go on and do that for a while too and do some other leaves. Uh, you might want to put something in your negative spaces. If you see some things in the background, like I see some other trees. Uh, there's a tree here behind this. I won't go into as much detail as I did on this tree. draw some things in the background to give it some perspective. Of course everything the further away things are they're up higher and smaller. So this tree you can see is smaller. So I'm gonna uh, work on my tree for a while. I'm gonna pause the video, work on my tree, and then we'll come back. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. I spent a, a little bit more time on my tree. Um, this is called a sketch just because I did it very quickly. I used a lot of bold, fast lines, got a lot of gesture, um, the movement in the tree, and um, I just sort of captured the essence of the tree. I love to draw like this because it's quick and you're focused on your lines and your shapes and you're watching your tree, you're getting to know your tree in your yard, and it's just really fun. It's very relaxing because you're more concerned with looking at the tree than you are how your drawing's turning out. And it's fun to play with lines and shapes and patterns and textures. You can see I added a little bit of uh, curvy lines to the trunk, some texture. Uh, because that's what I see on the tree, kind of that go around. You, if, you, if you make them kind of curvy, it makes the trunk and branches look round. So thank you very much. I hope you had a good time drawing a tree. 
with me and um, I will let you know how you can, once you finish your drawings, you can share them with uh, tree folks and tree folks will put them on social media. I really would love to see the drawings that you do, no matter what your age, no matter what your level of drawing is, I would love to see your drawings. So you can take a picture of them with your phone and send them to colin at treefolks.org. And Colin will put them on the Tree Folks social media where you can go see everyone else's drawings too. I would love to see them. I'm planning on drawing every tree in my yard and then turning it into a big collage. Sort of like my, this is what my, where I live. And so you, maybe you want to do a big project as well. Thank you very much and please send us your drawings. Would really love to see them. Thank you so much. Goodbye.